At SIGGRAPH, NVIDIA researchers debuted new graphics innovations. This year, focusing on how advancements in AI models are making rendering and simulation photorealistic. Today, beautiful AI-powered graphics can be achieved in real time. This requires algorithms that are of course super optimized, tuned to fully utilize NVIDIA hardware. So to help you harness photorealistic rendering, we are introducing powerful new features to Nsight tools that make graphics profiling and debugging as easy as possible. Let's take a look. Introducing Nsight Graphics 2024.2, which features the new shader debugger public beta. The shader debugger is a real-time, hardware-accelerated debugging tool for Vulkan applications that allows you to inspect and fix shaders live while your application is running, allowing for fast iteration and improved development time. The shader debugger provides a familiar workflow to CPU debugging. You can set breakpoints to isolate specific scenarios and inspect variables with locals, watch, and registers windows. Step through every stage of rendering and inspect the shader state along the way. To make finding and fixing bugs in your code even easier, we've created the Focus Picker, which overlays shader fragments in flight on top of your render target. You can visually pick out where to focus your debugging efforts based on the image as it's built. The Shader Debugger is available now in beta for Vulkan applications. On the profiling side, the Nsight Graphics GPU trace has many exciting new features. In this trace of the NVIDIA RTX GI sample, we can see a flame graph of shader performance in the bottom right. The flame graph is a visual representation of the top-down calls table, where each rectangle represents a stack frame, and its width is proportional to its total time. The flame graph instantly reveals this Raygen shader as taking the most amount of time in the frame, with call stacks above it. To see where this shader function was running, we can right-click and choose Select on Timeline. Clicking on a function takes us to the source code, including the ones provided in HLSL helper libraries. A key aspect of ray tracing performance is the cost of ray casting. You can now identify this in the shader pipelines view. Look for ray tracing traversal in the list. Returning to the timeline, we can also see where the render passes from the NVIDIA neural rendering cache were running. With these tools and visual aids, you can confidently integrate complex path tracing SDKs into your renderer. As the graphics and AI worlds collide, we are happy to announce that GPU Trace has now added support for the CUDA API. You can see when CUDA launches were running on the timeline. Inspect CUDA API calls in the event list view. And identify the most expensive CUDA kernels via the shader profiler. Switching gears to DirectX work graphs. You can now identify the most expensive node shader at each point in time. To see this in the GPU Trace, switch to the Shader Pipelines tab and look at the topmost entries. To see which exact work graph node shaders were running at the end of this call, we can click and drag to create a time span selection. Now, the unique set of shaders during this time period have been revealed. Nsight Systems is our system profiler for visually inspecting and diagnosing performance on a system-wide scale. In Nsight Systems, we've significantly improved performance tracing for video accelerators like NV Encoder and NV Decoder, the components on the GPU that accelerate encoding and decoding video. Video accelerator events are plotted on the timeline, and you can now correlate them with the API calls that submit workloads to them. Clicking on an API or workload trace will highlight all correlated events. Nsight Systems has also improved resource migration tracking on Windows, with new timeline ranges, showing pending and in-transfer stages of resource migration from VRAM to system memory and vice versa. You can now view a graph displaying individual process VRAM commitment across time for identifying VRAM pressure caused by other process commitments and debug names of Vulkan resources that were bound to pages of Vulkan device memory objects when those pages migrated from VRAM to system memory, letting you quickly identify critical resources whose residency should be more carefully managed to avoid performance loss. Thanks for watching. Nsight tools are all available to download for free with the links in the description. You can also explore developer.nvidia.com/tools-tutorials to see the latest resources for getting started.